Hi and welcome to Sadie Spincraft. Today all I'm doing is basically taking random bits of fibre that's left in my tub that I haven't used and spinning a fine single. Once I go on to plying I'll obviously make several um, chain plied minis and it's just because I haven't got many bobbins and I just I want to spin and I'm trying to use up old stock so that I can justify buying new stock. Um, I have to excuse me, I'm really tired. I don't seem to, I seem to sleep loads, but I just don't seem to be waking up. I'm constantly tired, don't have a clue what's going on, but well, hey, we'll get there in the end. Um, That's the other thing. Yeah, so I will film a little bit of the spinning. I will also film a little bit of the plying. I'll show you all this, all the um, plied yarns, plied minis at the end of the video. And yeah, so basically it's just a spinning video. <laughs> so I'll get you pointed in the right direction so you can see what's going on. Um, I am reverted in this one back to my default spin which is short forward off the end of comb top uh, quite fine mainly consistent do have a few bits that aren't consistent feather did you see the feather <laughs> um, so far I've got one two three four uh, different colour things going on uh, you can see three of them one of them is underneath and it's probably the biggest uh, single the biggest bit of fiber so once I've spun this last little bit of Shetland bamboo I uh, shall be spinning this hand-dyed merino that I got from Barb back in 2020 during a lockdown um, yeah, and it's it's a it's a coarser merino than, than what we're all used to. But yeah, that's what I got off Barb, so I'll be spinning that one as well. If that doesn't fill the bobbin, then we'll pick something else and we'll spin that as well. So, yeah, we're trying to fill this bobbin. And then I'm just going to play it all on Lance, which has got a nice big bobbin. That I could probably get two or three of these minis on before I need to... change the bobbin I'll take them off but I'll show you that as well but we'll see I may even just do them on this I don't know yet I don't know much but anyway yeah let's get you set up So I'm under the um, brolly again simply because it keeps raining and I want to sit outside because there's no way I am missing <laughs> summer just because of rain. Because the UK has rained for the past God knows how long now and it's getting quite depressing and I think that's not helping my moods either. So yeah, right now we're spinning the Shetland bamboo, which is natural, it's not dyed in any way. Um, this here is Polworth that I dyed ages ago. This one was merino soy fibre and underneath all that was merino and silk. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing random bits of fibre that I've got lying about that need to be used because they're pretty so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm spinning all the comb top I can find so I don't know what to call it I think I might join Tanzin and call it a finish it Friday 
even though it's Saturday right now, but I did start it on a Friday. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to join Tams in on a finish it Friday, which is probably going to be a finish it week. Or not, I don't know. But we'll see. I just talk random rubbish half the time. And if you're new, welcome to the ramble. If you're not new and you're a returning subscriber, you already know what I'm like. <laughs> right now, I'm not even sure what to even film just because. I feel like I've done everything and that I'm repeating myself and this, that and other. And we all know I can't read fact. I have to be told it or um, listen to someone else reading it. So I can't do any research into all. Um, question. Please answer in the comments. About three years ago, I started doing Spinning on a Budget series. Didn't think anyone were watching it, so I stopped doing it, and, well, yeah. It's kind of blown up in the last few months. Uh, do I redo the series, update it, make it better with a bit more knowledge? Or do I just add the third video to the series? That is the question. So I'll let you all decide on whether that happens. Right, so now I'm going to put you on fast forward so you can see everything happen rather quickly, a lot quicker than what I actually do it. And yeah, we'll get round to the plane a lot quicker for you than it is me. So, at the beginning of that bit, I did say, uh, joining Tams in on a finish it Friday. Well, it took over a week to put all them colours onto that one bobbin. I've never had such a full bobbin. Um, and this is all because I want lots and lots of minis. But I don't have lots and lots of uh, bobbins. So, it's also a... Use your bobbins wisely, and you get plenty. So next time I start filming, it will be the plying. I am going to chain ply the full bobbin, and then as I take it off, I'll cut it where it's a new yarn, so where that finishes and that starts. They will be that will be the end of that yarn, on to the next and so on and so forth. I will be showing you a bit of how I chain ply on the hand side so you can see what I do there. I'll also show you a bit of the bobbin, how it fills up because I am going to need to use Lancelot for this because this will not fit onto 
my Kromsky bobbin way too small so I need to apply onto Lance which is my Ashford Kiwi 2 and that's what we'll be applying this on so right now I need to let it rest because underneath has rested this lot hasn't so I'm going to give it 24 hours and I'll start applying tomorrow which is Sunday the 20th Saturday today is 19th so yeah Sunday 20th and uh, yeah we'll start plying and filming the ply so I don't think it's a finish it Friday anymore it's more uh, just finish whatever I can I'm going to do as much filming as I can over the next 10 days because I've got 10 days off work and my aim is to basically be able to upload plenty of videos I'm going to do my best so anyway back to the spinning so the plying will begin on Lance uh, on that side And then I'm just going to fast forward all the uh, uh, how's it? There we go. I'm going to put you in fast forward for all the playing because it is going to take absolutely hours and to be fair I don't think you want to watch absolutely hours of chain playing. I know I wouldn't. So, yeah, here goes. So, I finally finished applying the bobbin. It's now fully empty. So, that only took four and a half hours. I shall be taking it off the bobbin and onto the Niddy Noddy very soon, and I shall speed that up so you don't have to see it all. But I'll show you the hands when I'm done. Well, I didn't realise that I'd run out of space, so it cut off at the air somewhere in taking this lot off. So, we'll start with the smallest to the largest because I want to. <laughs> So this is the tiny one, this is Merino and Soy Fibre, well, you probably can't see it because of my face, but there we go, Merino and Soy Fibre, tiny one, like I say, I was just using up fibres. This is Shetland and Bamboo, natural grey, very pretty. 
Then we've got Polworth. Hand dyed, had to be put back through the carder because I did felt it. These things happen. So yeah, that's just a small sample of what you can do even with slightly felted fiber. This is alpaca comb top. Um don't know where I got it from, but I got it. Now I've spun it. This is Rambule Soy fiber. I think it's soy, yeah. Rambule and soy. Oh and it turned out lovely. So pretty. So that's what? One, two, three. So that's five. We're down to five. Don't forget, we filled this bobbin full of random bits of fibre to make random minis. This is 26 micron because it's a more coarser feel of merino. And I quite like the pink. And then the last two, I can't quite decide. I think that one's bigger. So this one is straight merino. I do, but oh no, it's merino um, nylon. Merino super nylon blend from World of Wool that was in colours of the. What's that? What? Union Jack. The Union Jack flag. I forgot what our flag were called then, like. Because I didn't want the St. George, I wanted the Union Jack. Ooh! Fibre on those. So that is how that one turned out. Can't really see it, but yeah. And then last but not least, this one is. Polworth silk, hand dyed by myself, and I think it turned out absolutely stunning. Not that I think you can really tell, seeing as I'm using the front camera and it seems to be rubbish. So yeah, we've got, well it's just two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight minis on a hundred gram bobbin. I need to wear these to see if it is actually 100 grams that I got on the bobbin, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just like I said, I'm using up some old fibre that I got years ago. Just it needs to be used, there's no point in it sitting there. So, um, yeah, in fact, what I haven't used in bats and Rolags and other things, I am now using. In minutes so yeah hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel don't forget hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads welcome to the fiber family I love you all very much no matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. Love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there. And I shall see you again very soon. Bye, my beautifuls.